Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video might not be that helpful for too many people, because if you draw on the same computer that you run your laser off of, you're good. But if you draw in the house and go out to your shop or the garage or wherever you have your laser, and you take the file out there, this font is Gabriola, and it's I made it fancy. But if you don't have... A lot of people don't understand that the fonts aren't in Corel Draw. The fonts, and so I go, well, I got the same version. Well, the fonts are inside of Windows. So every time you buy a new computer, if it's got a little bit different version, it's going to have a few different fonts. It's going to have more of some and, and some that have taken off. I guess, I don't know, I would think they would just keep building the font library. But as you can see, these are both Gabriola. They're identical. But what we can do, if you're going to, and this is what I do every time before I walk out, and it irritates me when I walk out there and I forgot to do it, and then that font shows up that it doesn't recognize a font and it's going to try to pick a different font. But all you have to do is make sure that font's selected, go up to a range, and it convert it to a curve. Now, all fonts won't do this, but this font did this. It's got two blank spots. And in a way, it kind of looks cool, but if you're doing, like I was going to do a ceramic mug or glass this morning, and that would have stuck out like a sore thumb being red and black or red and white so close together. But all you can do is, is take your smart fill tool and just fill these in, and you're done. Now, if you ever fill them in, and it all depends on what your pin set at, if you ever fill it in and it does this, and that's going to look probably as worse than the other. It's because your pin, your outline is too big. A couple of things you can do. You can go no outline. And then you get this kind of white box. Now it's going to engrave. I don't suggest doing that. I suggest going down to where it doesn't show up. I'm going to go half a point. That looks good, crisp, clean. Then group this together because if you don't group it together, There's your spots and if you moved it inside your laser. So lasso it all, control, control G, then you can resize it, turn it, get it ready for the laser engraver. But if so if you convert something to a curve, watch your fonts and watch your cross lines. And this is what's happening. We'll take the fill away from this font. And that's what's happening. It's got these cross lines. Now you can convert it and you can, you know, take these lines away and then fill it up. But then you'd have to go back and fill up the individual letters because you can't just, once you break this and you break it in a part so you can cut it. Because right now, you can't cut that line. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.